Hi there guys, my name's Craig and, and welcome to with Ryland. I'm your glamorous assistant, aren't I? KTV. If you don't buy non-stop kids entertainment and Hi there guys, my name's Craig. My name's Ryland. And and welcome to Learn Magic with Ryland. Although I'm here to help. I'm your glamorous assistant, aren't I? Uh, also, welcome to NSK TV. If you don't know, NSK TV is brought to you by Nonstop Kids Entertainment. And we broadcast seven days a week, Monday through to Sunday, six shows every single day. Everything from magic to uh, wrestling, mask making, baking, science experiments, party games, action dances. We're trying to put stuff out there that you can show your kids to keep them really busy and really entertained. Because, no, it's a tough thing to do. Today, you're going, to be, uh, you're going to be learning how to do magic. And you're not going to be learning it off me. I'm helping. You're going to be learning it off this kid here. This, uh, this young man, his name is Ryland. He is uh, seven years old and he is a professional magician, aren't you, Ryan? Yeah. And he's going to be teaching you how to do magic. Now, there's no excuses. You can't go, oh, I don't know how to do magic. Oh, it's too difficult because he can do it. He's been doing magic. How old were you when you did your first trick? About... Three. three. So he's been doing magic since he was three years old. He's now seven. So you guys, this is a perfect opportunity for you to learn how to do magic. And today, we're going to be teaching you some tricks with a pack of playing cards. So to learn this magic, you need a pack of cards. There's a very good chance that you have a deck of cards lying around the house. And if you have, pause this right now and go and get yourself a deck of cards. If you haven't got a deck of cards... You, you can come back and watch this video over and over again. So watch it now, then go find yourself a pack of cards, and then you can come back and watch it again. And what we're going to do, Ryland's going to perform a trick first of all. I'll be your glamorous assistant, if that's okay with you. So Ryland's going to perform a trick first of all, and then uh, him and I, we're going to explain how the trick works. So, camera lady, if you could come in a little bit closer. We've got a deck of cards. You're going to, you're going to do the trick, right? Yeah. Go for it, man. I've got a pack of cards. Let me get to the shuffle. Nicely done. Right, you're going to deal them onto the table. You can take from cards from the middle, the end, the, and, and the start, like this. So deal them into a pile on the table? Yeah. And take them from everywhere? Yeah. Okay, cool, no problem. How many cards do you want me to deal? Um, don't go to the end. Don't, but as many as I want, just don't go yeah. to the end. From the yeah. middle, from the bottom, deal, 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 deal. Okay, I'm good, that's fine. What do I do with these? Just put them down? Yeah. Okay, cool, I'm happy. What now? Right, you're going to deal them into four piles. Deal them into four piles? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, okay. One, two, three, four. One, all the way through? Yeah. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, done. Right, turn the top cards over. Well, these cards? Yeah. Is there any chance they can be the kings? But the kings? Yeah. No. Turn them over. What? <laughs> Dude, high five. That's awesome. Now, I'm guessing you guys want to learn how this trick works. Should we teach them right? Yeah. Now, first of all, if you've never played with a deck of cards before, just so you know, there's 52 cards in the deck. Um, there's four suits, right? Clubs, hearts, spades, yeah. diamonds. And there's 13 cards in each suit. So you've got the ace through to king of clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Now, if you want to know more about how a pack of playing cards works and what each card is, um, go and have a look at Lee's video, okay? Uh, on Tuesdays, Lee puts a magic workshop video up where he teaches magic. And he taught another card trick, but he spent a long time talking to, uh, talking to everyone about what card's which. So if you want to know more about that, go watch uh, Lee's video. But we're going to teach you how this works. Now... Um, you have to do something beforehand, don't you? Before we start the trick, what do you have to do? You have to put the kings on the top. That's it, right? Yeah. You put the kings on the top. So, you've got a deck of cards with the kings on the top. Now, you notice that Ryland gave the cards a shuffle. Shuffle the cards. So, before the trick started, Ryland gave the cards a shuffle, didn't you, Ryan? Yeah. Like this. So, you gave the cards a shuffle like that. Now, that shuffle is called a... Waterfall shuffle. Waterfall shuffle. And you'll notice that the kings stayed on top of the pack. Now, you don't have to do that shuffle. You can just bring the cards out and start the trick. Because nobody is going to be saying to themselves, hmm, I think the four kings are on top of that pack of cards. They just think it's a normal pack and that there's nothing weird going on. So you don't have to shuffle. But if you want to practice, the shuffle that Ryland did 
it allows you to keep those four kings on top of the pack. So even though you're shuffling, the four kings stay there. Should we sh teach them how that works? Yeah. Yeah, should we teach them how that works? Okay, so what you have to do, yeah, you hold that pack, I'll hold this pack. I've got another pack of cards here, so we can do it together. So what you have to do to do a waterfall shuffle, you hold the cards like this. Now what's weird is Ryland is left-handed, um, I'm right-handed, but we still use this, we do the shuffle the same way, which is kind of weird, even though you're, you're, you're left-handed. So you hold the cards like this, fingers at the bottom, look at how like, Ryland's holding them, fingers at the bottom. If you look at there, you can see that the four fingers curled around the top and the thumb is here. Now look at what Ryland does here. His hand, coming a little bit closer and you can see, his right hand comes in like this and he l uses his thumb to riffle off a whole bunch of cards and holds them. Now, you're going way ahead of me. <laughs> you're going way ahead. Go back a bit. Look at what Ryland does. He, he does this. And the first thing you need to practice is that. You need to practice just using your thumb to riffle some cards into the hand. And then what you do is you lever these up with your thumb and these fingers here so that your right hand is holding them in the same position as the left hand. Now, if you've got little hands like Ryland has, notice, before you do the shuffle, don't do the shuffle yet, notice Ryland does that to square them up because you want them square. I've got big hands, so because I've got big hands, I don't need to do that. Because Ryland's got little hands, he does. Now, you then do what Ryland's doing there, which is you riffle the cards here. Look, this hand is doing this. This hand is doing this. And you do it together. That's called a waterfall shuffle. So watch Ryland do it one more time. Do the waterfall shuffle for me, right? So you can see his right hand comes in. He riffles the cards off. You can see that he squares them up on the table. And then you can see that he riffles. Like that. And then what you do at the end is you put your thumbs here. And you bridge and you let all of the cards flop down like that. And that's the waterfall part. Now, you don't need to do that waterfall part. If you want to, you can just do it like this and push them together. But it looks cooler, doesn't it, if you can do the waterfall? It, looks, it does look cooler. Now, the other thing that Ryland's doing, remember the four kings are on top of the pack. So you stand here, right? The other thing that Ryland's doing, I want you guys to see this. When he shuffles, he just makes sure that those kings that are on top of the pack get held back. So he just makes sure that there's all of these cards on top at the end when he shuffles. So when he does the waterfall, the four kings are there. So this is something that you can spend time practicing. How long did it take you to learn to do that? I remember when I taught you how to do this waterfall shuffle, you were like, I can't do it, daddy, it's too hard. Do you remember that? Yeah. But how long did it take you to actually learn how to do it? Um, about a week. About a week. So this is something that's going to take practice, but you should have a lot of time. What did you do to practice? What, what, how did you go from crying and saying you couldn't do it to being able to do it like a boss? What, what advice can you give them? How much did you practice with it? Um, I practiced for a very long time. So you were like practicing all of the time? Yeah. Like I remember Ryan taking the pack of cards around with him. You were getting in trouble with mommy, weren't you? Because you were sitting down at the dinner table and you were shuffling cards and mommy was like, stop shuffling cards, eat your dinner. And then I remember, I remember one day you were on the toilet shuffling playing cards and that was disgusting. I was like, dude, that's disgusting. Stop shuffling cards on the toilet. You had to throw those away. But he was practicing like all of the time. And that's the thing about magic. Now, you don't need to do this shuffle. This, shuffle, this trick you can do straight away without learning the shuffle. But if you learn the shuffle, it makes it a lot cooler. So do the shuffle one more time and you'll see how it all works. So there it is. You do that. Square up. Shuffle. Notice that he holds back cards at the end. And then he picks up and does waterfall. So people think the cards are shuffled. But really, the four kings are on top of the deck. So whether you shuffle or not, you bring the cards out. But it is better if you shuffle, isn't it? Yeah. Then what you say... Can I, is it okay if I tell them? Yeah. What you say is you say, I want you to deal cards in onto the table like this. And you can deal them from anywhere. You can deal from the bottom. You can deal from the middle. I want you to deal a packet of cards. Now, the reason you show them that and you explain that is you want those four kings to be at the bottom of this packet. Um, and if you just say, take the cards and deal them on the table, but deal from all different places, they might put one from there, one from there. It's not going to work. So you say, well, do the presentation. Do, do the bit. Do, do. I've got a pack of cards. Um, I want you to deal them onto the table like this. You can take cards from the middle or the end. Okay. And then he hands the cards to the spectator. Now, the four kings are now at the bottom. So it doesn't matter 
how many cards this person deals. You don't want them to deal all the way through, but they can deal from anywhere. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how many cards they deal onto the table, but when they finish, they think there's just a random bunch of cards there, but the four kings are at the bottom, aren't they? Yeah. Then you tell them to put these cards to one side. Yeah. And what do you tell them to do now? Um, you tell them to deal them into four piles. Okay. And because the kings are at the bottom, they they deal them into four piles. And then when you get to the four, the four kings will be at the top because it because that's one king, that's the other king, that's that's a king, and that's a king. So they feel that they've dealt and shuffled and done, done everything. There's no way that you can have the four kings on top of the deck. But when you turn over the top four cards, you end up with the four kings, which is a really, really, really cool trick. The tricks that me and Ryland are going to be teaching you here now, they're not little kiddie baby tricks, are they, Ryland? These are the sort of tricks that you can do, and you can show an adult, and they can be like, what? What? That's not possible. That's just absolutely awesome. So that's a really easy trick that you can do. If you've got any questions about that trick, just pop them in the comments below, because we'd be happy to answer any questions, wouldn't we? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's move on to this. I'm, I'm going to show you one more trick. I'm just going to show it to Daddy and you can watch. Right. Come in. Yeah. Pick a card. Any card, right? Yeah, any card. Okay, that one there. Show the camera. Got it? Yep. Okay, show the camera. Right. Put it, put it back. Okay. Right, I'm going to give the card to spread. Yeah. Was that your card? No, you messed it up. No, I didn't. Do you know what that card tells me? It tells me something. So it tells me you messed the trick up. No, if that card says five on it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Is that your card? <laughs> yes, it was. What? <laughs> the four kings are back again. That's awesome. Right? Are you going to explain how that trick works? Okay, what do we do? Talk me through it. Um, you, you don't need nothing, do you? We have the four kings here. And we have the five face up at the bottom. No, top. That's a top. Yeah. You put, and that goes at the bottom. Okay, so just to just to show them, you don't mind me doing this, do you? You've got the four, four kings, five, the rest of the pack. Yeah. yeah. You don't tell them about that. And then they pick a card. So let's say it was that one. That was uh, three of three of hearts. Mm -hmm. So if so, if I cut like that. They, so, so you're cutting so, cards off the top onto the yeah. onto the table. So I cut the ones at the top. They put theirs um, upside down there. So that's the three of hearts, and then I put that on top. So just to explain what's happened here, is it okay if I explain what happens yeah. there? Uh, because you've done this like a million times, haven't you? So d d remember those cards were there. So when they put their three here. All of these cards that were at the bottom of the deck, they go on top. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Okay, what now? And um, that you spread. Now, you're saying you spread. How do you spread a pack of cards? What do you do? You put them on the table. Put them on the table. Look at how he's holding them with his hand. Thumb at the back, fingers at the front. And then there's the five of hearts. So you put them. And they're going to think at that point that you've messed the trick up, aren't they? Yeah. You say, is that your card? And they say, no. So you Now notice what he did there. He cut all of the cards under the five to the top, which means that underneath here you have the four kings and then you have their selected card. So what do you do now? That, now that five is, you put the five down and, bec and then because that's the five, you count one, two, three, four. And when you get to the fifth, that will be their card the third part, and then all of them will be the kings. Okay, so let's go through it one more time. Now you know how it works. Let's go through one more. You perform it to me, and we'll talk through what you're doing, okay? So that's your setup, right? Yeah. The five face up, the four kings face down. So perform it, and we'll go through what Pick happens. Pick a card. Okay, that one. That's the card. Do you see it there? Yeah. Um... Put your card back. So he's cutting cards off the top of the pack to the table. Now all those cards go on top. I'm going to give the 
the card to spread. And you and was that your card? No. So now what he does here, look, he's cutting all of the cards there. So he's putting all of these cards on top, cutting it. Yeah. So if that, so that fight tells me something. One, two, three, four. That was that your card? Yes, it was. And then all of them will be the key. Simple. It's a really easy trick, isn't it, right? Yeah. Really easy trick to do. So there you go. That's two card tricks that you can do with a pack of cards. Now, what's the most important thing about being a magician, right? All of the kids watching this that are going to learn all of these amazing magic tricks, what should they not do? Mess up. <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> yeah, what else shouldn't they do? Should they tell everyone how the tricks work? No. Why? Because if you tell them, they'll go off telling everybody, and then soon the whole world will know how the tricks work. And you don't want that, do you? No. Hey, man, you'd definitely be up for the magic circle, 100%. Uh, the other thing is, should they practice? Yeah. Why should they practice? Because if you don't practice, you might forget the trick, and then you won't know how it works. And then if you don't know how it works, then um, you won't be able to do the trick anymore. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So um, we're going to be back here again next week. Yep. Uh, are you going to be teaching more magic tricks next week? Yeah. Are you going to be doing card tricks again? Yeah. So th you're going to need a pack of cards for next week because he's going to be teaching card tricks again. Yeah, I think we're doing more lifts next week. You want to teach that? That might be a bit advanced. We'll see. I don't think the double lift should be next week. I think we'll, we'll get that though. We'll teach us a few other things next week though. You can decide. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Now, we have actually, this is Saturday that you're watching this. And on a Saturday, we actually have an advanced magic workshop as well on the YouTube channel. And I teach the advanced magic workshop, but you're my special guest on it, aren't you? Yeah. And you're teaching tricks with? Spongebob. Spongebob, so you're teaching the Spongebob trick. It's way more difficult than what Ryan's showing you here, but if you wanna learn how to do magic tricks with Spongebobs, that's coming up later on today. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We put six episodes out every single day. Tell them to subscribe, it's called a call to action. Um, subscribe if you like the video. Yeah, exactly, boom. And we'll see you next week, I'm Craig. I'm Roland. And we'll see you next week on Learn Magic with Rye. High five.